Okay, so we are going to connect the EBV105 valve with the Wink controller. So from this screen here, I have got a Aeon Labs water leak sensor, which is the, the sensor shown there connected. And the unknown device is just an unknown device. It's not uh, relevant to what we're doing right now. So let's click on these three buttons in the top right hand corner. We'll click on the hub button, go down here to Z-Wave controls and click on exclusion mode first. When you click exclusion mode, then what you're going to do is you're going to rapidly click the button on the EBV105 valve three or four times until you see the light on the wink hub react. It'll go green and then it'll go back to blue. So we'll click exclude and we're going to rapidly click our button on our valve. The wink hub has turned green and it has now turned back to blue. So now we're going to include the hub. And, and what you should see here, uh, sorry, is the valve light should be blinking. So now we're going to press the inclusion mode button, and then we're going to rapidly press the button on the EBV 105 valve. You want to make sure the valve is very close to the wink hub. Within one or two feet is probably best. And you also want to make sure that your wink hub is at least 15 to 20 feet away from your router. So we're going to push the inclusion mode. And then we'll rapidly push the button here on the valve. The wink turns green. And it's going to go blue. And sometimes it'll cycle through green and blue again. And it'll take a second here for the application to catch up. Okay, so now we go back to our hub, and you can see that we have a light connected now. So what we want to do is we want to go into lights and power, and you can see that there is a switch here. And if we click on this button, you can hear the EBV 105 valve switching. And now we're turning it back off. So now that we have the valve added, what we can do is we can automate this by clicking on robots. We'll click new robot. And in this case, we'll say if it detects water with our water sensor, we'll click save. Make this happen. And what we want to do is go to our switch and we're going to turn it on because it's off right now. And we'll click save and we'll click done. And we'll go back to home. And what we'll do here is we'll just put our little sensor in some water. And our valve is moving to the closed position. And that's all you need to do.